Hi guys, it is Craft Wednesday today and I wanted to paint a little camping scene just to kind of recap um, summer, the fact that school's starting and just kind of celebrate the last days of summer. So you can use, I'm using a mixed media paper, um, you can use that or a canvas, whatever you want. Um, I'm doing acrylic paint and we're going to pick those colors out in just a little bit and you'll need your paint brushes and water and a rag. Um, and your enthusiasm, okay? So um, we're not here to compete with each other, we're just here to have fun and create and craft. So let's get painting. Okay, so the colors I picked, I am gonna use some oranges, there's two different kinds, two different yellows, some pink, purple, um, a black, white, green, blue. Um, I might add some more colors, but we'll see. Um, I got my little palette thing, a palette knife in case I decide to do uh, mountains. Sometimes I change my mind. Paint brushes and more paints and my rag. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> Get all these colors going, guys. I'm excited. You guys excited? Hope you're all ready for school. I'm not. Kids start next week. I know a lot of you have already started. So that's why this would be kind of a fun little end of the summer memory. Pink, gotta have pink, blue, white. Ooh, this is a pretty yellow. We need yellow. But I'm also gonna do this yellow because it's possible that this yellow is gonna be better than the other yellow. Okay, let's paint that sky. There's really nothing to it. You're just gonna start dropping on some color and just left to right swipes. We're not worrying about much detail of the sky. Try not to overthink that sky. I did that when I was doing the practice one before I decided to film um, and I was overthinking it. So just don't overthink it. Just put your sky on, it will be fine. Okay, I'm gonna mix together some browns real quick with green and a little bit of red. We're gonna add our mountains. I'm using the knife because it is a little easier. It's similar to how you do it with the oil paints. However, um, it dries faster and it slides more. So a lot gentle when we're doing the light color and don't be afraid of sliding. We're gonna cover some stuff up anyway, so it's all good. Okay, we're gonna grab a dark green and start filling in some trees around here. Make sure to go over the tops with some light green, but don't kill all the dark. Okay, I'm gonna grab brown and like a tan color. Okay, I'm just looking for my knife. All right, we're gonna take the knife again to do our tree trunks. All right, I'm gonna start with a few thick ones and then I'm just gonna scratch on some kind of in the background of these. So it looks like there's a lot. Okay, let's add some bushes to our little forest here. Add some lightness to the tops of these. Remember, don't kill the dark. And just we're just trying to cover up the roots of the trees we just made. And we need some more paint over here. Just want to add a little bit of grass in here. All right, adding the light parts of the grass, and I just decided to cover up wherever there was white paper showing through instead of making too much over the darkness. We don't want to kill our dark. That helps with our shadows. Also, we're gonna lay out where we want all of the dirt to be so we can put our little fire pit in our camper. So we're gonna make some rocks. We're gonna put the uh, one side of the paintbrush into the brown and then the other side into the tan. And now we're working on the cute little fire pit and we're gonna have to add the logs and the flames, cause that's cute.
I am using a dark brown for the background of the trees and a tan for the light spots. All right, now to add the green onto our big trees. to get ready for the main character. So I don't know how I want to do this. I think I'm just gonna do it like a bubble-shaped, bubbly, cute little cutesy trailer. And then that will be the main character. So let's see how this goes. All right, I'm gonna start it out in white. So that way the colors that I choose will just pop. All right, let's grab some color for this cute little bubble trailer. I went with blue and pink. Gonna scrape off some excess paint for the little window here. Then I decided to go over the window and the door with white, that way the yellow pops. Put the little details on the stairs here. Oops, I forgot about the little hubcap for the uh, wheel. Add any extra little details. Now just to sign it and there you have a little camping trip painting. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.